the aftermath of the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan in 2001, LET provided active assistance to Al-Qaeda in the form of safe havens, training and acting as a gateway for aspiring jihadis to reach AQ. LET's active involvement in Afghanistan can be traced to mid-2005 in the Kunar and Nuristan provinces. Their role in global jihad is not limited to operations in Iraq, Afghanistan or training would-be terrorists. LET had varying degrees of involvement in the 2005 London train bombings. The failed plot by Richard Reed to blow up an airplane using a shoe bomb in 2002 and the thwarted attempt to detonate liquid bombs on board a transatlantic aircraft in 2006. Lashkar-e Taiba is diverse and systematic in its fundraising efforts. Donation boxes for the group are common in Pakistani markets throughout the country. LET also has benefactors in the Arabian Peninsula and from the Pakistani expatriates around the world. Some donations come from international Islamist charities like the International Islamic Relief Organization. A fundraising method unique to LET is collecting animal skins from religious sacrifices and selling them to tanneries. In 2010, JUT reportedly collected $1.2 million by selling these skins. In addition to ISI support, LET also receives funds from the Pakistani civilian government. LET's illegal fundraising activities include false trading invoicing, counterfeiting, extortion and involvement in the drug trade. Until the mid-2000s, Lashkar-e Taiba primarily targeted Indian security forces with bombings and shootings. Attacks started becoming deadlier and less discriminatory around 2006 when LET adopted tactics including serial bombings, marketplace attacks, hostage holding and train bombings. किसी को पता नहीं था कि उस दिन इतना बड़ा हमला हो जाएगा ना ही हमने सोचा था ना ही किसी ने सोचा था जब मुझे कसाब की गोली लगी मेरे आंखों के सामने कई लोग मरे गए और ऐसा लग रहा था वो आतंकवादी कोई खुशी मिल खुशी मिल रही हम लोगों को मार के तब मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा था कि वहां पर चल क्या आ रहा है सब मेरे मन में एक ऐसा क्वेश्चन था कि हमने आखिर में क्या बिगाड़ा है द मुंबई अटैक्स आर इंस्ट्रक्टिव रिगार्डिंग द ग्रुप्स ऑपरेशनल टैक्टिक्स एंड कैपेसिटीज सर्वेलेंस इन प्रिपरेशन फॉर द अटैक्स वाज कैरीड आउट इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ 2006 and the perpetrators of the attack were trained over 18 months at four different locations in Pakistan. The 10 terrorists departed from Karachi on a small boat and were each armed with one AK-47, 200 bullets, eight grenades, a cellular phone and other supplies. The terrorists were using voice over internet protocol, VOIP phone service in order to send and receive information in real time back to their planners in Pakistan. They were further using global positioning system, GPS handheld devices, satellite phones and satellite imagery to observe how the events were unfolding, make decisions of where and how to conduct their attacks and whom to kill with precision. We have of course furnished all this tangible evidence to the Pakistan. But unfortunately Pakistan has not taken any action. Again, the founder of Lashkar Taiba, Hafiz Sahib, and operational commander, Nekiu Rehman Lakhti. This is the real fact, and now the Lashkar Taiba has changed his name, Jamatu Dawa. With the advent of technology and digital revolution, the Lashkar started using social media channels to attract young, disenfranchised men. Through its cyber unit called JUD Cyber Team, the groups have organized numerous online and offline social media workshops, which provides individuals with knowledge on how to exploit the online space in order to spread the LET ideology and its objectives.
On one of its websites, the JUD Cyber Team provided links to a computer game titled Age of Jihad, which promoted the organization's objectives. The group maintains very strong online presence on Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Google+, YouTube and WhatsApp. Solely on Twitter, it is believed to have more than 65,000 profiles. The LET is outlawed in India under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The U.S. administration designated the Lashkar e Toiba as a FTO, Foreign Terrorist Organization, on the 26th of December 2001. It has also banned organizations in Britain since March 30th, 2001. The group was proscribed by the United Nations in May 2005. In May 2008, the UNSC placed LET as an entity associated with Al-Qaeda and prescribed Jamat Uddab. I think all those designations have affected every terrorist network. It makes it hard for them to move money, to send money overseas, to recruit people. It gums up the works for them in multiple ways. It makes it so they have to do uh, their work outside the United States, which has been traditionally a great place to raise money and to organize. Between 2015 and 2017, the Indian Army broke the Lashkar's backbone, eliminating its top leadership that included the likes of Abrar, LET's intelligence chief, Abu Qasim, LET's operations commander, Junaid Mattu, its commander for Kulgam, Abu Dujana, chief of LET in Kashmir Valley, Wazim Shah, responsible for recruiting fresh cadres and six other commanders. Despite proscription, LET's political and self-proclaimed charitable wing, Jamaat Uddava, has stepped up its overt anti-Indian and anti-Western rhetoric and operates freely, holding mass rallies across Pakistan. Hafiz Said was arrested on the 17th of July 2019 on charges of terror financing and is currently serving a collective imprisonment of over 36 years in five terror financing cases at Court Lakhpur Jail, Lahore. As far as Zakir Rehman Lakhvi is concerned, after serving six years in jail, the anti-terrorism court in Pakistan that was trying him for the Mumbai killings ordered his release on bail in April 2015. On January 8, 2021, Zakir Rehman Lakhvi was sentenced to three concurrent five-year sentences for terror financing. They kept up his sight, the house are and Jackie Rahman, like they had shown, they, pro, they had frozen the certain accounts of Lashkar al -Toyba. But this is all, I should say, it's a drama, just to give an eye wash to the financial action task force. Unless Pakistan government takes a very stern action against this terrorist organization which are working, which are working in the Pakistan, FACP, Financial Action Task Force, is not going to delete the name of Pakistan from the grey list. But I am confident that Financial Action Task Force would put the name of the Pakistan in the blacklist. It is clear that after Al-Qaeda, Lashkar-e-Taiba has been the most dangerous terrorist group operating in South Asia. More than a decade after the Mumbai terror attacks, its masterminds, although languishing in Pakistani jail, are yet to be charged for waging war against India. Regardless of what strategy India and international bodies are to employ, Pakistan must be included as part of the formula because it is still a strategic shelter for LET. Without Islamabad's cooperation and active participation, LET may never be eliminated.